Everybody said my last video was too dark. So I bought some big ass light towers. Can you see me now? That'll light some stuff up and make it even better. I bought two more that I still gotta go pick up. Just kidding. Uh, these are actually for a really cool thing we're doing. Uh, the Patreon crew already knows what's going on and what these are for. And uh, next week, what's today? Yeah, early next week I gotta go pick up the other two. And uh, we're gonna take them to their, their destination for the little project we're doing. And we're gonna do some really cool stuff that you guys are making happen. And I just realized, like, ironically, I am standing in the shadow while those are in the light. So, there. Don't want people to complain about the lighting while I'm talking about lighting. But anyway, yeah, we're doing something really cool with these. If you want to support and get in on it, check out Patreon. It's a dollar a month at the lowest. None of that money goes to me. We use it all to help other people. And that's part of that, that is right there. But for now, we're going to get the big wrecker fired up. Because we're going up to 406 Garage up to Ben's house. I don't 100% know what we're doing. But he told me he has a project that needs the wrecker. So we're gonna go find out what that is. Okay, truck is warmed up. Just finishing checking over everything. Making sure it's all still in place. I've actually been using this truck a good bit last couple days, couple heavy tows. Uh, see my fork holder's starting to get wore in like they should be. Um, towed a fuel tanker a couple days ago. Towed a propane truck yesterday. So just making sure all is kind of back in place. You know, I'm still trying to get my whole routine down on how this truck's laid out. But. Oh, and we didn't roll the propane taker this time, so that's a nice change of pace. Let's head up to Ben's and see what kind of uh, shenanigans we're getting into. Yeah, Ben got a fancy new trailer. Did you purposely get this to match the red on my truck? Well, I figured if you ever had to tow it. Even though it's not the same red? It's their red. It's okay, close. so what are we doing? Uh, that van trailer right there. Okay. This is my new parts storage trailer. Because you don't have enough storage with the 5,000 square foot shop. Shut up. I gotta fix trucks in there. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of all these parts trucks and put all the parts in the trailer. So I had my friends that tell Aren't me the parts trucks your parts storage? Ish. Yeah, but then I have like 15 of them here and I don't need to have them. So my buddies at Talarico Construction brought over crushed asphalt grindings. I leveled out with a skid steer and then I rolled it and so we can have a nice pad to set it on right here. So we need that trailer in this hole in this hole but this need side. it facing facing the wrong way because it has a lift gate on the back i mean i just i want to make it as complicated as possible how the hell are we going to do that i don't know you have a magic truck <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing with it though so i think if we like i said if we pull it in here as far as we can pull it in you realize my truck's so long that that means the trailer's going to be back there still well, you know it's going to be where it's going to be and then turn your truck around and lift from the front with the cables or with the lifty deal on the back, whatever you call that thing. And then just hook it up to air and pull it forward and set it on the blocks down there. So the back of the trailer only has to be at the end of the shop. Yeah, which is all the way up there. No, the back of the trailer is right here. How long is that trailer? Huh? How long is that trailer? Feet. Huh? It's only 40. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Start walking. This is 60 feet. Well, my truck is 40 feet. Well, that's not you see problem. the math problem? Yeah, I do. So we're gonna come straight out here. The outside of the trailer is gonna be at 24 feet and then the trailer is eight feet wide and it'll go 40 feet that way and it'll leave us 20 feet on the end. Ish. Huh. Yeah, that's just, I mean, it's a simple Casey Liddell mathematical equation. Again. Uh-huh. Huh. Listen. Does this flatbed truck run? This one. Blue one? Yeah. Yeah. Then we're good. We got this. Fire it up. Let's go to work. Either way, this is happening, so I'm going to go start hooking up to your trailer. We are going to get this thing in that hole. And that's what she said. Um, I know the way to do this, the easy way, and that is, I'm sure it's already been in the comments a hundred times, is get a converter dolly and stick it under the front of it so I can tow trailers backwards. And yes, 
I need a converter dolly and I am looking for one so if anybody's got a cheap converter dolly for sale in the localish area let me know because this is exactly where it would come in handy and for those of you who don't know once we do this I'll show you what I mean and why it would help oh missed the trailer okay so now we're going to see how we sling tow a trailer this is basically what I did the other night with that rolled over lumber trailer that everybody was mad that they couldn't see how I did it and what I did so now you'll be able to see and I'm probably backed up too far and I have to move the truck forward so is it gonna clear it's gonna be close if this works out just right it is not because I knew what I was doing and parked in just the right spot it's pure luck yes that was pure luck <laughs> no skill is involved in that working out like it did right there okay so I'm gonna pull these off pull my caps out and we're gonna take these they're gonna go to the opposite side oh maybe I'm still a little too close because I can't fit through here so Oh, cap. This comes off. It's going to go on the other side, like that. So stand them up. Yes, the flatbed is going to be the dolly. I know, isn't it cool? Yeah. I don't own a converter dolly yet. That would be the right tool for this job, but I don't have one. So we're going to use your truck as a converter dolly. It is. The list is getting longer. Richie Brothers is going to be your friend. No, bar none. Facebook Marketplace. Oh, that too. And bar none. That's where I buy everything. Okay. Craigslist is still up. I know. I actually found a, a headboard for this truck on Craigslist. Oh, really? I, d I just messaged a guy like five minutes ago. An enclosed headboard that would actually work out really well. The good thing is on Craigslist you can find some decent deals because nobody looks at Craigslist I anymore. I told you that wasn't a 40. I, he told me it was I looked at it from across the yard and told you that wasn't a 40. I own a 40 foot trailer and it does not look like this. I will own a 40 foot trailer someday. Okay, I need stuff from that side. I don't know, I'll go see what I can make around. Either Either get that truck, or we could use this one if we have to, but it'd be better to use the other one, I think. Yeah, I know. I can get it. Okay, so now we're going to dig in here. Get my chains. That headache rack I just mentioned will hold these chains up there instead of in that toolbox. It's kind of a pain to get out of. the whole chain storage on this truck is kind of unorganized at the moment because I don't have the truck tool storage lined out quite how I want so we need our angle iron this is gonna go here see what the bottom of the trailer looks like this will work make sure no beehives up here that in there look uh we got the back one yeah okay. back one there have our remote So we're gonna, yep, this will work. So down a little bit, take our chain, pop it in there. Put 
take about an equal amount of slack ish pop in there looks even ish now we take our angle iron and that'll sit in the front of the trailer right here we will and then oh i definitely need to tighten up that chain way too loose back in here to protect the front of the trailer. And we've got it. So that's how you chain sling a trailer. So what's happening is we're hooked into the chassis of the trailer back here much of a chassis as they have comes up here goes under the angle iron and uh, hooks into this so that's holding your vertical you can't come forward because of that can't come backwards because of physics and we've got the trailer so what I will do is I'm gonna boom up and then tilt down so that that pin is vertical so that when I pivot it does the crossbar doesn't do this it just swings evenly so I never use this one Go up and then tilt down till we're horizontal. Right there. Grab these boards. We're gonna need these. Yes, I know I walked under the trailer, but it can only fall six inches, so I'm fine. Now I should say, uh, there is, they do make, somebody makes a uh, plate that grabs the kingpin and then your chains hook that plate because not all trailers have a super good area to grab or this is all rusted out. So there is a bracket that grabs a kingpin. I don't have one of those. I should probably get one of those. And then they also have a, um, an actual fifth wheel plate that goes on your crossbar and goes and locks into a kingpin just like a normal trailer does. I have one for my rollback. I don't have it for this truck yet. I should probably get that too. It's starting to seem like there's a whole lot of stuff I still need to buy. This gets expensive quick, outfitting a setup like this. Converter dolly, I definitely need one of those because if this trailer, say, had uh, damaged axles or suspension or something like that and needed towed away, uh, you obviously can't tow it on the rear wheels. It's too big to go on a low bed. So you put a converter dolly under the front, then you go pick up the rear like what I'm about to do, and you tow it backwards. And then it's your axles under here into the kingpin. You chain sling it like this from the other end, and then you can tow it away. So I definitely need a converter dolly. I need to get that kingpin plate and then the actual fifth wheel plate. What do I need? I need air. So if I put this here, that's air from the truck. This is actually the trailer supply air. That's what feeds this unit to run the free spool of the winches and stuff. And I should really just get a bigger quick connect for the end of this hose. And then I wouldn't have to do a double goofy adapter like this. I'd be able to just plug the hose straight into there. So add it to the list. And then I grab my glad hand. We're gonna go into the supply side of the system this will charge the trailer inflate the airbags and release the brakes we're not going to run service brakes that would be this one over here so we can test to make sure the brakes are free by coming here 
and look at that. It's free. So now we're gonna pull it in, run it out just enough to let that head turn and we can go with it. Let's go check on Ben and see if he got that truck running. Wait, both backup lights even work. Unlike anything I own. You need to be over there so I can get lined up and unhook. Back, back where you were. What do you want? You, out of the way. Well, I'm I, supposed to be putting it where you want it. Yeah, I want it out of the way. Because i got to pull in here and line everything up, then get unhooked. And go as far forward as you can before you unhook. No, I'm going to unhook so the front end's right here so that I can turn sideways and lift the front in the air to put it on this. Just go, go. He has a plan. I don't know what it is exactly, but... Yeah, that thing went down a bunch, didn't it? get behind it and I can just push you right in. Okay, I had to put the lift gate all the way up. I saw. It was dragging. It was, I was grading your road. I already did that with the roller, it's fine. Well, we don't I need to do it twice. Of a job you did, so I to touch Easy. That. You don't want to put anything under that landing gear? No. Nope, all right. We have a record. I know. Do you have those two pieces of wood block for to put on the flatbed? Yeah, I set them over there on that trailer. What is that? I don't know. Looks like garbage. I am nailing it on the clearances so far today. There's plenty of time to screw that up. A lot of day left. Want to see something cool? It's like unholstering a gun. Yeah. It's like... You can't say those words on YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry. Unholstering a protection device. Yeah. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> you can just bleep it out in the edit, edit booth. Well, I'm going to leave it. I'm outlaw. Yeah? We're going to run it. Yeah, just run it. 
Now, do you want to use that little angle piece on there? Is that why you kept it here? So huh? when you pull the chain up, are you going to put that angle piece on there? Yeah. Copy. Hopefully that's far enough out. So I don't dig into the front of your trailer. Yeah. I'd like to use this trailer one more time when I move to Montana. So. And, then I, and then I buy your place? Yep, you can buy my house. Or I'll just move to Montana too, that's probably a better idea. Yeah, we can just get a big piece of property. You can have half and all the other half. It's starting to sound a little weird. Not really. It's called a compound. <laughs> okay. So we got that. Go get your truck. That's good. This looks so ridiculous. I love it. Me too. The wood blocks. Over there. Okay, I set some wood blocks in there so the kingpin doesn't punch the deck. And now let's... That's it. It took that really took good. That really good. It took that way better than I thought it was going to. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> these trucks are pretty tough. <laughs> and I've always said they're really tough, but seeing that, kind of like. Do you even need me to push it from the back? I don't know. I need, I'll need air. I'll do that all day long. Yeah, I might be able to just to drive it right in. That'd be awesome. Let's try that. Definitely film that. <laughs> okay, I have moved my truck over. And we've got some airlines strung out so that my truck is releasing the brakes on this and I chained it so it can't slide forward into the cab the opposite on the other side so it can't slide back off the truck because it's just sitting there you think it's that, gonna work you know that sticker on the dash on my hot rod have you ever read that sticker on the dash no it said what could possibly go wrong with a question mark I need to put that sticker in this truck yes So if anyone is wondering, that truck is for sale. And if you're wondering if it works or not, it can haul whatever you need. check where you're at. You're uh, Pretty close. you're like three feet out. Yeah, we just need to move it forward just a little bit. Okay, we could probably scoot at that. Yeah, get this out of the way. Because all we need to do, we only need three feet. Yeah, so if you move that, Pull this three feet farther forward. You can be jammed in there. I can back in and grab your back in and slide it out from underneath the trailer. Yeah, totally just drag And then you can just turn the front wheels and back out. You don't need enough room to wiggle out of it. That'll work. I'm gonna try to not think about what the other side of that bed looks like right now. I'll think about it. You didn't even touch it, go farther. Okay. Plug the air back in to release the brakes. Okay. Finish the job. Good. 
good. Let me go look at it. Oh, you're like way past. Do you want to be even or as far as you can go? Because you're like just as far beyond now. But if you follow this kind of line that way, it lines up with the rest of your junk over there. That junk's going away. Well, I know, but it lines up now. Um, I think I want to come back just a little. Back it up then. It's kind of even with, like if, you're, if you stand right here like this, tell me when this comes, when this okay. touches you. This when you right hit me, yep. stop. Yep, okay. right, exactly. And then when you, when we're all done, we're going to pick this up and move it over just a little and set it down. Okay. Okay. Stop! Move. Forward! Ben, forward! You hit me and kept going! You, you, you rolled back just as far as you moved forward. <laughs> How far? You want me to go forward or backward? One inches. One foot forward. Because he's going to roll and it'll even out. Exactly. <laughs> he went like this. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Good. There you Probably go. Probably good. Shut it off. I'm on a hill. I'm on a hill. <laughs> oh, yeah, all the things. He's controlling the swing arm. Look. He's supposed to control the arm. You want more? Yep. I think that's about it. You want to measure from post yeah, to post? Yeah, I do here. Hold that. I was joking, but... I'm not. When these this, come. Front, this front's 10 inches closer. Oh, so it's got to go back? No, that's got to go that way. The back's got to go that oh, way. Oh, okay. I can do that. So, you want to see a cool trick? So, my boom doesn't swing, right? Right. And we're pretty well centered, so it's not going to swing either way. Right. This is well outside the operator's manual. But I'm pretty well centered. We got to go 10 inches. Hey, do this. Measure 10 inches off the tires and put a mark so I know where to put it. So give me a mark there. Well, no, like do like this. There, that's where I need to put it. Otherwise, I'm going to smash your tape measure. <laughs> okay. So, this is how you do things that you're not supposed to do with trucks like this or any boom but it works, so we're gonna do it. If I just raise my boom higher, what? Make sure you lift it high enough, you're not dragging it all the way across. Don't worry about that. So, see, no swing, because we're center. So if I use my outriggers to tilt the truck, it moves the boom over. And now when I boom up, it should give a little more swing. Right there? Nope, almost there? Almost there. Hey, a little more tilt on the outriggers. That's it. No, I'm not. I'm on your thing. No, you're not. You dug the hole. That's 10 inches in the center of the hole. It's on the edge of the hole. In the center of the hole. What are you, you're measuring a rock now. That doesn't count. Galloway. No, it's not, because you're going to complain about it forever. There. Now we're done. Nailed it.
That's in the center of the hole. Nailed it. All right, I'm putting my stuff away. Oh, we gotta get your truck out first. Yeah. So, I'm sure that's not a recommended practice, but you see if I pick that other outrigger up, see how far over that boom just swung? You can cheat side to side a little ways with your outriggers. Again, probably not recommended, but it works. Actually, I can guarantee you there's not a manufacturer out there that would say that's okay. I just backed my truck in here next to it. Snatch block down off the leg. Rim sling the tire. And we're gonna pull this up. See if we can scoot that sideways out from underneath the trailer. Don't worry, we can shovel that later. It's just giving us more clearance. I'll grab the other side and spin it out of there. You get out of the way there. Go. Oops. I almost pulled the cable in. I think if you crank past your side, you're going to come around that as you back up. We'll see. Oh yeah. Come right around. Pull forward, straighten out. We did it. Okay. Did we absolutely need a wrecker to do that? No. Was it way more fun? Should anybody yeah. ever question how tough these trucks hold, these 50 year old international flatbed? Yeah, that, that was impressive. That truck. Anybody ever questions the, the like capability of one of these old internationals, tell them to go watch this video. Yeah, that In was the future. cool. That was really cool. Because that thing barely even squatted. Those tires are weather checked. They're 30 yep. year old tires. There's no reason that that should have worked and it worked flawlessly. Yep. So I don't want to hear any more from the haters. If they do, put it in the comments, but. Yeah. Uh, I was actually even impressed. I, I it like squatted down three, four inches at most. most. It was done. Yeah, and, and then, then it just, just drove right out. Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, so towed that. What do you think, figure that thing is? 10,000, 12,000 pounds? Probably more than that. 15. I don't know, I don't pull box fans. How much does a box fan weigh with a lift gate on it? 48 footer, somebody. Yeah, whatever that um, weighs, yeah. it just pulled it in first gear idling. Yeah. Carbureted V8. So yeah. it worked. We definitely did a whole lot of moving back for the wrecker, but in all reality, like the more of that I could do the better because it's just more time with yeah, it. At the end of the day, it was just good practice. Yeah, it's practice. I, I lifted the trailer and from the side, scooted the trailer from the back, sling toe, like we did a bunch of different kind of maneuvers there that'll get used in real jobs. And the more you can practice like not on the side of the road, the better. So yeah. I kind no, of looked for every excuse to do something else with the wrecker in this whole process. So in all reality, we could have towed it over here with your truck. So use the landing gear air. to set it on that and shoved it in there. Yeah, but it was good for both of us to learn something on this as far as what I was able to move with that truck and then as far as how your truck worked yeah. to move the trailer. We did more than we needed to do, but it was, I think it was a good idea. So. I think so. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, go ahead and tell us all the stuff we did wrong and we'll see you next time.